Officer Corey's the perfect match for routines and ain't gonna let him off easily. Especially LaShiva and Larry can experience the strictest officer ever on Beyond Scared Straight. So here are the most ruthless guards on Beyond Scared Straight. So where you getting all the money to ask? How did you get the money to smoke the weed you smoked last night? I didn't get no money. I smoked it with my friends. Oh, really? You still high from last night? You got high before you came in? Yep. And that I'm Tom, 15 years old. I smoke, drink, steal, and stuff. One time, uh, these girls let us over to somebody's house because they were watching their watching dogs. And then I took like $400 and a ring. I'm good at stealing, probably stealing over like $5,000 from people. Officer Corey Harris ain't got no time for foul play. So this young teen has the audacity to get high a night before coming to the program. Now it clearly shows that he ain't got no respect for the officers at all. Now the question is, what's this young buck doing with hard drugs? Now this young buck's trying to be all sassy, but Officer Harris is about to show him who the real boss is by baking a boot off of his ass. Now Tommy doesn't only do all the bad things that he can think of, he's proud of it too. This dude sees it as a skill. But, you know what? whole paycheck come up missing. Other people have items missing as well. You're going to spend the day in the jail. Do you want to spend that rest of your life there? I smoke cigarettes and we, I love getting high. Tommy is really so good. We still don't know what happened. It has to do with his friends. Tommy! What? Let's go! Get help! What is she talking about? Something has got to give. He's got to stop. It's killing me. That's what's going to get you in trouble. You not listening and wanting to be out with your friends. Is either going to be him in jail, me going to jail for child abuse, or Tommy's going to end up dead. I'm not scared of going to jail, but I just don't want to. 15 years old, man. She'll be thinking about them grades in school and not whether or not they good at stealing 400 bucks. Now, Dawn's mother's also sick of her son, and we don't blame her neither. Not only does her son disrespect her in front of his friends, but he also puts her into stress. Now, working throughout the week to have stolen checks is disheartening, man. Now Tommy's mom has got to choose between discipline and her son or watch him walk the dangerous path. You're going to come to a program in front of police officers. Hi. How smart is that? This is D-Block right here. Everybody, put your back up against the wall. Face me. Armed robbery. Class M's. That's a murder. Everybody ain't at least facing 10 to 15 to life. So I advise y'all to be careful where y'all live. Don't get into it with them. At you. They can do whatever they want. What can we do? Lock them down? They already lock. Don't jeopardize our safety because y'all can't control y'all tempers. Bring them here. Bring them here. Hey, room and stay. Let's go. You stay on this side of the wall. This is all you get if you come in our jail. You see where that toilet is? They can see it all. We don't know what goes on in here. What you doing? This is the life you're going to live, man. Officer Harris gives the teens details on the prison. Now, hopefully, they don't provoke the inmates. These inmates are desperate to harm the teens. These teenagers better be well-mannered, or these inmates are going to give them something they ain't never going to forget. Pee on me, man. They just threw pee on me, man. I don't care. I'm... Nobody finna throw no pee on me like I'm not finna say something. One piss. And they just the said that. What's up, you button the jump? Now, Tommy, just like the other teens, are desperate to fit in with a bad friends. But Officer Harris reminds them of what could happen if they continue with that lifestyle. Now, of course, it leads to being among the cool kids, but the consequences ain't worth the feeling. You ain't going home. You going to jail. How long are we gonna be in there? We looking at a year for you. Think it's funny? I'm serious. Man, come on. I'm serious. It's cute. We can roll with it, OK? Be tough. Get your ass scrubbed up out here. Be tough. Get scrubbed up. I'm Larry, 12 years old. I was charged with a terrorist threat, and I get suspended for school. I came from the regional youth detention center, being there for 16 days. Court. Awesome. I brought a BB gun to school, and I gave a friend of mine let them hold it, it. And both of us got caught up in it. They put me on probation for two years. On October the 14th, Larry did threaten the principal by stating, you're going to keep me going to get sparked. By putting his hands in the fingers. I was charged with a terrorist threat. I told him, you're going to get sparked on. Shoot. Threatened the kids in the classroom, told them that they all were going to get sparked. He says he's not in the game. The things he would say when he get angry at other people, you know, would make me think he was. The kids with gang affiliation are the toughest. Now, they always want to act all bad and tough. Now, these officers are giving Larry the exact attitude he deserves. 
as parents, just like every other parent in their situation, are sick of this dude. Now, the most terrifying part of it is that Larry's not even close to legal age, yet he's done this much. I mean, who knows what else this dude has done before this? I used to claim crip on the side. I used to be with the boys all the time. Game bang, get their money, going to full cost. Nah, I don't think I should say that. I'm mean, not saying too much. I don't want to hear about my son gunned down, you know, because of talking. A lot of people tell me, keep up what you're doing, and you're going to end up locked up behind bars. I think about it, then I say, I'm going to be all right. I ain't going to going to happen to me in jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't scared to go, because if an officer get in my face, I'm going to start yelling back, because when you in my face, I had to protect myself. Now, you a real G, look at me in my eyes. That's when you mean what you say, mean what you gonna do. Look at me in my eyes. Get off my wall. You don't think this funny, man. Why am I, why you keep standing on laughing? You know I say attitude. You gonna have that with me? I'll put your ass on the float. You hear me? attitude again. Go ahead. Show me. I don't have no attitude. That's why you're on probation. He's staying. He's staying. Why I gotta stay? Who the hell are you talking to? You still got an attitude. Attitudes belong here. If you stay here with me tonight, your ass is mine. You still think it's a joke. I'm serious. Larry's dad doesn't want his son to end up the way other gangsters end. Now, he wants a better life for his kid. But the question is, does Larry want a better life for him to himself? Now, these officers don't fear any of these kids. I mean, why would they? They face more dangerous inmates every day. So why would a young kid make them fearful? All they need is the permission to teach them a lesson. This is for real. And right now, your ass is about to be a damn resident. Get to a room and make the and make the bed. Move! Next room. Make the bed. Let's go, Seth. Tuck that thing in. Tuck that in. Tuck that in. All the way. Make a tight. Why they keep saying I got an attitude? It's called body language. Your eyes tell the story. When you don't look at people, your body language sends off a negative vibe, negative energy, and people read that and they see that. And I'm talking to you now, you're not looking. You got more than a lot of these kids got. Time your dad has spent with you. I can only wish my dad would have done that, would have done that with me. So you got more than a lot of people got, but you don't see it. It's not about only changing for the minute, it's about changing for a lifetime. And if you don't change your life, man, for the better, everything you've seen, everything you've experienced is gonna be reality. You gotta do better. I'm trying to see it with a good attitude. First of all, Larry's got a really loud and porous mouth for a 12 year old. Sometimes we really gotta doubt the age of these kids. I mean, honestly, they so young to be this wild. Man, these officers match Larry's energy. Now, he came here acting like he's the toughest, but he came to the wrong prison. Right hand side, man, what I told you, right hand side. This is housing unit three, pod three. In this pod, we have inmates who have drug charges, murder charges, robbery. You know why I feel sorry for you? Because you know what the hell you got on top of your head? I'm turn straight into a curl. They'll make you an opponent, Tan. You'll be a queen. You'll be the queen, man. Marijuana, marijuana gun charges. Oh, you smoke weed. You she got a gun charge. What the f*** carrying a gun for? It was just a glass. How long did it take you to um, do your drug law? Lock it down. 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 some issues you trying to pick up these guys in here the best thing about this show is when the officers are tough on the routines now the only barrier between cody and the inmates is that iron bar and if he ain't careful he's going to be part of them in no time now just while we were complaining about larry sarah a 14 year old has gun charges and that question is what everybody literally wants to ask what can make a 14 year old girl carry a gun now who's she protecting herself from the sign of affection towards them See, we all look, little girl, you in jail. These guys, any kind of wrong message, they, you want to be in a relationship with them, and we already know that you're sexually active, okay? Get it together. 
This is not the place. You, we ain't picking up nobody in here. We going to C-104. See how many people in that cell? That stuff is in the bin, stacked up on their bed, sleeping on the floor. No YouTube, no nothing. You can't do none of that. Can't text your homegirls. You steal from somebody in here? Down Nine that. times out of 10, you gonna get beat. Twitter, you poking, they stab your head. They stab your head. You got a baby girl. Ain't gonna never, ain't gonna never see her again. Never. My number one lady, my mama. I'm gonna lose my mama when I don't know. I gotta worry about one day these people coming to me and telling me my mama dead and gone. That's what's gonna hurt me the most. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta get it together, shorty. Respect your prayers, man. What'd you do? Smoking, like being out late, drinking, just. My little brother smoked weed. Somebody laced his J. He's schizophrenic now. Never be right. That ain't cool. Yeah, just me. I don't wanna be around no game. Love is not nothing to be played with. You in it, you in it. No. Trust me, man. You bang? Yeah, I bang. You mad stone blood. You don't want to do that. What you steal for? Who you steal from? You steal from your parents? Yes. Why you steal from your parents? Is that the time I'm You're changing. Your right. You're changing now. What you changed since you came in here today? I've done so much wrong in life or whatever. You did so much wrong in life, whatever. That don't, don't sound know. like no in change to me. It sound like you're trying family. to feed me some bullshit. That's what it sounds like. You're trying to make me doing. feel. Trying to make me feel sorry for you. No, you're trying to make me form a sympathy, sympathy for you. I don't you. want sympathy. Let me tell you just like this, baby girl. Your future ain't looking too bright. You got one or two options. You can straighten up, or you gonna fail. Period. The inmate stories really melt the girls. Now Sarah's the main focus. She got a lot of issues hanging in her head. The inmates and the officers want to make sure that Sarah goes home with a new leaf. She's way too young to be destroying her life. One of the young ladies that's participating in our program, LaShavia, was arrested earlier today. Step to the left. I am LaShavia. I'm 18. I drank by a stick. Stop. Oh, it'll get fixed. I hit real hard. I mean, these hands are the last time I fought the girl. I bust her lip. She started screaming, and she was like, stop. I kicked down her face. I feel like you're going to try to jump on me or do something stupid. I ain't going to shoot you because I'm jail for the rest of my life. I'm going to pick up a, a stick or, or whatever and head off. You just don't care. It's just a wow. It'll be fixed. LaShavia is pro. First, she was in a gang. I don't know for sure. For the ranch, that's what I am. We probably see this gang. Dark is not a gang. It's a this is the store I used to work at, but I got fired because I was giving people stuff for free, not ringing it up, as they say, stealing. I had a one on me for breach of trust. Now, you know when you go on this program, they're going to be yelling, probably all up in your face. and. You, I don't care about going to jail. I don't care about going to school. Too late. I don't, I mean. LaShiva's already in trouble. In fact, she's literally gone rogue. Now, what's wrong with these kids, man? How could she be proud to say that she tased the girl for over five seconds? I mean, she's a young, beautiful girl, and this program is the second chance for her to get her act straight. And she's already had issues with it, too. Stand outside your door. Ladies, there is a cup over there that has your initials on it. Go get you some water. Go do it now. Move! You lucky we give you water. The way you act, you lucky you get anything to drink. Get your water and let's go, ladies. Put your cup back on the table. Line up on the wall. Let's move it! You better drink that water. You better drink that water. Nasty. Okay, oh well, guess what? You're gonna sit there and you're gonna drink it until it's all gone. You don't even, you, it wasn't that dirty. Move! What are you taking your own sweet time for? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what you doing? You want somebody else? Yes, you a question, right? Yeah. You ain't hard. Fuck it up, homie. Like, Why'd you piss? Why'd you try to pull the white person? You were told to go. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You ain't got a bit of raisin in your life. 
y'all angry at the one. Now these officers ain't gonna let her mess up her second chance. Now she might be as bad as she thinks, but that ain't inside the prison. Now she got the option to act respectfully, but nah, she decided to play badly. What well, these officers have got to cure to her problem. For somebody who's still under arrest, she ought to have at least presented to be a little bit sober, but it looks like they're gonna have to press charges against her.